M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So let's learn about the Whistler TRX1 or 2 software and using RRUK, which is Radio Reference UK, and I'll put links in the description for any downloads you need. So you've got your TRX2 or 1 connected to the computer via the micro USB lead. And if we go to general settings here, the first thing I would do is look here and see all, there's all your scan lists. Scan lists are basically groups of channels. Now, if you, if you have all these selected, you are gonna spend 10 minutes waiting for your device to boot up. So it makes sense to try and streamline it. You can, you know, you can disable all of them just pressing this one here, look, disable, yeah? Or you can enable all of them. But the best thing is disable and then start enabling the ones you want. I've got my own channel here called Andreas. Once you've done that, go across to, oh yeah, on this page here, you may as well turn on your light, look, backlight setting, turn it on. And if you hate the beeps at the bottom here, look, key beep, on or off, I just turn mine down, I do like the beeps. Right, so then go across to scan list, so you've got a tab here, advance, we're not going to use that at the moment, but scan list, we're going to use that. Now here, what you want to do is select yourself or the tabs that you've selected if you want to change them or import frequencies to them. So this says Andreas, look, and there's a drop down there and the drop down list is the same as this. This is the same. So if I enabled another one, say 32 here, we got Wrexham, okay? If I, if I enable, I don't have to enable it, but if I want to look at it, go across, scan list, go down, up a couple, and then you'll find Wrexham. And we can look at all the frequencies that are in Wrexham and we can change and import and all that kind of stuff. But the way we import is we have to go over to conventional frequencies, like so. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is go to scan list, select Andreas again, then go to conventional frequencies, like so. And if we want to import, have you noticed here on the bottom right, it says text file. So we're going to go to RRUK. Now, you, you, there is a charge for RRUK, and then you log in. And if you go to the home section of their thing, you can get to this page here. So if I go like so and click home, and then minimize. I'm, I'm minimizing because I, I want to see both. Anyway, home here. And you want to do a search. Just put in, say, for example, PMR. Put in PMR there and search. And you'll get these search results. Or you could click airports, you could put in your postcode, your town, even a frequency range, and look groups as well. I've, I've selected all the groups. So when you found what you like, then let's just try a different one, see if it works. Mill air control, display. No, there's nothing there. But when you found one you like, let's just go back to PMR. So all groups, airports, uh, Bristol, where's Bristol? Doesn't want to find anything at the moment. Um, airports, da da da. Let's just refresh it a minute. And just put in PMR, PMR, search. Doesn't want to find anything. Yeah, it found it then. What is, I had to make sure it was it selected all groups, you see? So, we've got a PMR here. Now click Scanner Export, just here, see it? Scanner Export. Click that and you get a choice of the radio you're on and we're on the TRX1 or 2 and it creates, in this case, a, a PMR TXT file at the top here and that will go into my downloads. So now, if I want to bring that into my conventional frequencies and if on my general things I've made it default, see that default there? So Andreas channels enabled, default, then go back to conventional frequencies in the middle. We've done the text file thing, remember? Text file, select here on the bottom right and then find it in your downloads, that's where mine is, downloads, and I can click any of these here. So let's click, um, yeah, we've got air control here, let's do that one. And then we can import it. All right. If it's got duplicates, you could go through. Now, if you scroll down, there it's, it's done it. So now let's go all the way down. And they're all there. Look, look at them all. So now, once you've done that, and we're not doing any of the trunk, the weather, library, audio, there's more things you can do. 
All you now have to do is go File, uh, make sure you're connected to your device, Scanner SD card, and then click Copy Configure to Scanner Memory SD card. Remember, the SD card can be in your PC or in the machine. So it's this first one down, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to click Yes. And you'll get if you if there's no if the cable's connected properly, it will say F drive. It's basically saying, look, this is your SD card. Continue. And it, be patient because it can take a while. And uh, you can now a CDAP file is basically a zip file that contains everything on your device. And you can add more CDAP files, and that's for another video. So we're just going I'll, I'll let it select both, but really we should we only need to use one. But I'm gonna click copy to folders and it'll copy them to both. Like so, and hopefully it won't take so long to boot up the radio. Uh, so we'll let that all go across. And then when that's finished, I wanted to show you another thing how to download those files that are called CDAP files, which are basically vScanner folders. That's what they also call them, vScanners. That you can export or import them so you could send your configuration to your friend. So let's let this finish up and then I'll show you that because I think it's worthwhile knowing it because we're often sharing our configurations and then when they get the configuration, they can pick and choose what they want to do using the same system. Now, there's many, many other programs other than RRUK that offer this kind of, you know, import-export. RRUK do also have this thing called a scanner linker where it links your scanner, which is here. That's free if, once you pay for subscription of the of this normal thing as well. And, you know, if you look out there, depending on the scanner you've got, there's so many options. I know that... You know, there's some good budget scanners out there, like the one two, the Uniden 125 is very low price, and the amount of software that's out there for that is, is excellent. But I do find that generally, in England, the Whistlers 1 and 2 are the ones that most people have got. The, they, the Uniden one's okay, but they, I think many find them a bit complicated. The new Uniden SDS 200, well, you know, that's another case altogether. So just letting this go through, it takes a while. Get in there. Copying. See, this is why if you only copy it to one folder, it would have it wouldn't have taken so long. It takes longer to copy to two folders. It is getting there though. So if you haven't already uh, subscribed, please subscribe and like my channel. Uh, if you're finding it helpful, and I do everything, whether it's ham radio, CB radio, PMR, scanners, I'm interested in all of it, and I enjoy learning about how it all ticks, and it's a never-ending amount of stuff that we can do with, with these devices. Even just one device, you can get lost in it for, 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 for a long time, so come on then. Taking ages. See, now it's copying the second file. That's what I mean by this. If you, if you, there's only a need to really use one file, one V file, really. Some people do have separate. See the C dot VS. Some people do like to have several files, so they'll copy one lot of stuff into one file, C dot file, and another lot of stuff into a different C dot file, and then they can flip between them on the radio. Which makes sense, I suppose. If you've got everything in one place, it's a long list, isn't it? Come on, then. Finally. Okay, it's done. So what I'm going to just show you is if you go File, Save Current Configuration. It's going to let me save. Maybe it's still in the middle of doing stuff. File. Yeah, I think it is. What you do, you go File. Save current configuration to archive. And then it will go to a zip that you... You want a new zip, or you can go to an existing one like I am. 
and it'll be like this and then that's my new one I'll click save and it'll overwrite that or save a, a new file for you so if a friend says to you look can I have you know your file you just go file res um, let's get it right um, yeah you've got you've already got the file that you saved and to restore it bring it back into the software you go restore and then reselect it double click like so and then once they've got it then tell them to go f over to SD card they can either put the SD card in their computer or in the radio and connect the cable and just go copy configuration to memory card and that's it you're done so hopefully this video will help you with your Whistler's TRX 1 and 2. Please remember to like and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.